Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm headed out early to check on the horses because yesterday morning I did not check on the horses and it went badly. Well, good morning, guineas. Hello. I guess everyone's over here eating the grapes. So uh, yesterday I didn't post a video because I, po I videoed a little in the daytime and then as it started getting later in the day, I started feeling sick. I had indigestion so bad. I hardly ever get indigestion and it was so bad and it just made me feel sick. So I said to Sam, I'm not gonna edit tonight. I'm not gonna post a video. It's just gonna have to, ooh, a bug was on me. It's just gonna have to be okay. I'm one of those people who get really tied into routine and so it's hard for me when my routine isn't the same. Come on, Molly. I bet you Molly's at those chickens. Molly, yeah, come on. Anyway, welcome to today. I'm sorry I missed you guys yesterday. But man, was it a crazy day. We got the two minis here. They were standing beside each other when I first came in. And this girl's almost as big as her older sister. Getting tall. This way, here they come. Wow, really close, Willow. You guys are so close. Oh man, there's just something about petting. Uh, oh my gosh, they're all getting these stupid burrs. I gotta figure out where they're getting them. There's something special about petting a horse though. Feeling the heat from them and, oh, you're just so cute. Anyway, what happened was, well, I have the footage right here. But sometimes three horses will get in this spot, three big horses, and then, well, the two girls will come in here and then Storm will come in and then everybody's afraid of Storm. She does not like dogs. And then, poof, there's like a big fight that happens. It's a small space. So they destroyed the barn yesterday. He destroyed it. Sam thinks it was Lady. I told him to check the footage, but he hasn't done it yet. But yep, he thinks it was Lady because she's always the one that stands in this section. She broke the fence down. I'm gonna show you guys that footage right now. All right, so this is what happened. All this hay, I moved it from there. It was all there and I moved it back. But it pooped everywhere. <coughs> There's a whip on the ground. This pitchfork was on the ground. This other hay bale destroyed is right here right now halter on the ground this whole fence they broke off I moved this this was over here attached to the door still it was right there this was like out like that so they came to the door and you know how they when when three big horses are in this area it's too big but when Storm comes in, they all freak out. And I'm pretty sure Lady knocked the gate to get out of the way, because that's what she does. So now I gotta fix all that. And they were around and they took pooping everywhere, took Storm's altar on the ground. And they were in here, obviously, knocked everything over and pooped everywhere. Yeah, that's what they did. So uh, there was a lot of cleaning up of that, but I didn't do any of it because I honestly did not feel good last night at all. I don't know if it's like that spirulina, blue green, blue green algae that I've been taking. I kind of think like when you take drugs, any kind of drugs, even like Tylenol, come on, even vitamins, what happens is that your liver is like processing all that stuff. Come on, let's go. So because your liver is processing all that stuff, it's like you can only pro it can only process so many things. So if you're like taking stuff and then you get exposed to a cold, you're more likely to get a cold because your liver's busy. Your filtration system is just busy. Come on, get in here. Anyway, they pooped over here. They tore everything apart. Come here. Come on. Honey has more burrs in her 
in her tail, so I'm gonna try and get rid of those today uh, while Filthy is schooling. Guys are getting to be annoying. Breaking down stuff, getting burrs in your hair. Look, there's even poop over here I have to get cleaned up. All right, you guys, I wanted to tell you about Kirby. <laughs> Just stay there for a second. Stop moving. Pretend you're calm. Oh, now they all want to be on me. Okay. So about Kirby, you guys know Sam Spur got her got her on a sp stop. Got her on the spur. Just randomly decided to get a puppy this past summer and he's been so consistent with her, like oh, taking her to the barn with him every single day, doing stuff with her every single day, making her his, making her his little dog and she's doing so well. But what I wanted to say is that it's actually so difficult to <laughs> video a dog because they're all crazy. But anyways, what I wanted to say about her is that she's the most unassuming, quiet, relaxed dog, even though she doesn't look like it right now. But she's just an easygoing dog. She just does whatever we tell her. She doesn't throw fits. She doesn't, like, she's just a, such a good puppy. Come on, okay, oh my gosh. She, she does like me. She doesn't like Ellie. See, now I have Ellie, so she'll run away. Okay, listen, <laughs> okay. So I want to give you guys a quick update on Ellie, something I've discovered about her that makes me even more happy about her is that, so I told you guys the biggest thing I don't like about Ellie is that she's not super affectionate and not super cuddly. She's affectionate, <laughs> clearly, um, but she's not cuddly, Like, she, and she is cuddly. She'll climb up on the couch with me, but I guess the only thing I don't like about Ellie is that she doesn't go to bed when I go to bed. So my chihuahuas, my chihuahuas would always come as soon as I went to bed. They would be in my bed, they'd be under the covers, they'd be cuddled up to my belly, and they would like sleep with me always. And I love that. I love like that when I'm by myself, I have like somebody to cuddle up with me and be with me, and it's like my favorite thing. Ellie's not like that, but I've noticed what she does do is so adorable. So every single night I edit before I go to bed. And I, when I go to edit, she comes into the room with me and she sits underneath the chair that I'm editing at. And she just stays there and is like on high alert. She just, well, she sleeps while I edit. But then as soon as I get up, she like knows that I'm going to bed. So she spies me. Wherever I go, she just sits. Like no matter where I am, she's like two feet away, sitting, staring at me, waiting. And so I always say to her like, are you gonna come to bed with me? And I know she's thinking, no way. <laughs> Anyways, so every night I go and get into bed. She sits in the hallway and she stares at me. And I know that she doesn't like, she's a night owl. That's our big issue is she's a night owl. I'm a morning person and she has so much energy. She never stops moving. She doesn't go to bed until Sam goes to bed at like a midnight. Once I get completely under the covers, I turn out the light and I roll onto my side and I get ready to go to sleep. She runs into my room, jumps on top of my bed and she comes running up to me and she kisses me and she cuddles me for a few seconds and I pet her and she lets me pet her. And the minute I lose atten my attention from her, like as soon as I like start reading my book or as soon as I stop petting her, she looks at me for a second and then she runs downstairs. And it's like she's coming and saying goodnight to me all the time and I love that. Like. Even though she doesn't like the same things that I like, she tries to accommodate me, even though it's not her thing. She comes and says goodnight to me every single night, spends a few seconds with me, and then she runs downstairs and lays on Sam's lap and plays with the puppy and plays with Sam <laughs> for hours. And then when he comes to bed, poof, she jumps on the bed and curls up and goes to sleep. But she doesn't even sleep between us. She doesn't, if she gets cold, she'll climb between us. But for the most part, she sleeps at the end of the bed. I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's so important to see the positive even when you feel like it's a negative. Like, it bothers me that she doesn't sleep with me and she's not devoted to me and doesn't want to be warm under the covers with me because it's something I enjoyed with my other dogs. But even though that's not her, she tries to be a part of that anyways. Like, it's so important to see the good in everyone that you meet in every situation that you encounter. So, right now, we're gonna see the good in this little 
pony that just keeps getting burrs. She just keeps getting more and more and more burrs in her tail. not be happy that I'm gonna brush her pony but she's busy with school and unfortunately the horses have needs beyond that every time I sweep this floor hay and stuff blows in from outside from with the wind oh Sophie already pulled a bunch of burrs out of this girl's tail and Gabby said to just spray it with conditioner so I'm gonna sit here and try and work my magic. Sophie did this for hours recently, hours. Hopefully it does not take me that long, but if it took her hours, she could have been doing other things. Now, stay out of those bushes, little girl. Look at, she's really shedding out. Or her hair, she's rubbing it on something because, can you see, she's got all these little teeny tiny things just in that back end there and the top of her tail's a little bit ragged. But I got it done, Gabby's a genius. She says to just pour the detangler in there and it'll work. Stay away from those bad bushes. Got it all out of here too. Yes, and look, Sophie cuts this like every month. That's how much her, her bridal path grows in a month. This is actually the very first time I've ever taken care of Sophie's pony, <laughs> ever. I've never let her in before. I've never like ever done anything with her. So this is all new for her and me. So don't tell Sophie, <laughs> she's not gonna be happy. Come on, let's go. Treat time's over. Come on. To be honest, I feel sad. I feel kind of sad that I never got a baby pony. Like I would have loved to have had, I would love to have what Sophie has with her. Like they just have the best relationship ever. And Sophie is literally her mom. And I think I kind of thought, I kind of thought that maybe like she'd share her with me and let me touch her, <laughs> brush her. But as you know, it's really important for the bonding of her only one owner, but I'm sad that I didn't have a mini of my own. I had one picked out too, one that I loved. Obviously I wasn't gonna get one for myself, but I kinda do miss it. Like I love that. I loved brushing her. Like I wish I had a got to like bond with a baby horse. Huh, I don't see my horse anywhere. She's always on her own. That Lady and Gracie and Storm and Willow. Huh, Pen? You want a brush? Come on. Target. Come on. Look at that. She's the only one over here. I don't know where Honey is. You can see the other horses. In fact, Lady is trying to figure out if she should come. Penny. Come on, Chubby. Come on. Come on. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Pretend I'm giving you a treat. <laughs> See, I knew it would work. If I pretended to give the dog a treat, she'll come. I don't have any treats, but I'll get her some. <laughs> jealous, jealous man. She's walking away because I didn't give her a treat and I dropped the harness. Come here. Come on, you'll like it. I'll give you a treat, I promise. Honey for sure has fear of missing out. For sure, because <laughs> anybody does anything with anybody she's like i want to do it too come on sweet girl come on i know she always gets nervous about this come on i got treats in here come on it's because she came through here once with her saddle on and got a little bit stuck come on i'll give you a little treat even though you're chunky
Whenever I give her a carrot, I always make her let me touch her ears because anything that's like a submissive is not her favorite thing. <laughs> All right, take the whole thing. Let me touch them. I know, she doesn't like the insides of them. She's pretty good with the outside. Yeah, doesn't that feel good? Nice massage. She's like, just give me a kiss. <laughs> just give me more carrots. That's a girl. Anyway, I like to do her on a regular basis because I like to pick her feet. I like to pick her feet and I like to check her over all the time. And I like to listen to her walk because you can tell a lot about a horse when they're walking and they make the clip clop, clip clop sound. All right, there we go. I really want to bring Storm in too. Do I have time? Don't be mean, Stormy. None of our horses are fat. Like, if you look at Penny's butt, she doesn't have, like, a lot of fat up there. She doesn't have a lot of fat on her neck. You want to come in? All right, let's do it. Heck, I might end up doing all the horses today. I like to use this in the fall because it really does work to get bot fly eggs off the horses. This is both exhausting and amazing all at the same time. Oh, I forgot your forelock. Actually, I don't think I brushed up here at all, your mane at all. But I do that still. This boy loves to have his ears touched. Maybe not. Yeah, such a good boy. He was raised by the best girl, huh? Good job. I swear, when I took Penny out, they could smell on her breath that she had a carrot. So they all want in now. If Gracie's out there, I'm gonna do her too. All right, so look at this. I did Sophie's horse and my horse, and both of them have a long bridal path. And look at Gabby's horse no bridal path because she would never ever let her horse have a bridal path you guys don't see it but she loves him and she takes the best care of him that's it one carrot and you're done you ready i cleaned out his sheath and he loved that that's one of his favorite things ever just like that four horses done yay me let's see if you're good with your ears anything that belongs to gabby will be good with anything yeah she's such a good girl Yes. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do Lady because she's gonna get done tonight. And I'm not gonna do Willow because Willow does not like being groomed unless it's Sophie. And the reason that she doesn't really love being groomed is because she spent 15 years without really ever being groomed, sitting in a field. And she had a year of being groomed before we got her, the person who rescued her and we got her from. She got her like used to being handled. So she really, here, take the whole thing. Take the whole thing. Anyway, I could tell Gracie really wanted to come. When I took Storm out, I called Gracie's name and she stopped and she looked at me and then she's like, does she really mean me? And then I started walking toward her and then she knew I met her and she was like, oh my gosh, she means me. She came running over as fast as she could and she was walking so proud when everybody else was looking at her because she knew it was her turn. Anyway, that is it for me and horses today. Whoever would have thought that it would be me when the kids got old enough, it would be me in the barn grooming the horses and that it would be me who was scared of horses and didn't even like horses. Sophie and I really getting into the horses. Like, I don't know. It's crazy how life turns out. It's crazy how you think you don't like something, but in the end, you love it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?